very warm welcome also from my side to this third presentation on the first ever Virtual Fair 2016 from ePlan. I hope you enjoyed the session so far. Today, I'm your host for the next upcoming 20 minutes to talk about a new dimension in engineering with digital product data. Please feel free to ask a question at any time during the presentation and afterwards, I will answer the first questions and all other questions will be answered right away after the presentation in our chat room. Also, I would like to remind you to stop by at our information and submit your feedback on this fair also to get the chance to win an iPad. But coming now back to the topic here for the next 20 minutes. I think most of you have heard all of these buzzwords such as Internet of Things, Industry 4.0, and similar. I would like to show you how ePlan is addressing these kind of challenges in the upcoming century or in the dedicated century right now to make it possible with ePlan and the ePlan data portal. I think everybody knows that this kind of topic is discussed frequently on many, many um, summits and congresses around the world. But what in general does it mean in our private life and especially in our professional life? I would like to show you and I would like to explain you how we see it and how we help you to succeed here. Starting with a general example I think everybody of us knows. The so-called Internet of Things actually is already part of our daily life. Just imagine a smartphone. A smartphone enables us to use a fully web-based applications and integrated solutions in our daily life. For example, my gym tells me anytime what exercise I have to do, how are the frequencies, and how I can schedule it. I do it on the run, when I'm outside somewhere else, sitting in the car or in the train or somewhere else. While reaching the gym, the equipment knows already what I have configured and how I have, have to use it. This is actually something what the overall idea of Internet of Things means. So in private life, we already know it, we use it. Our accounts are interconnected with each other. They are telling us where we are, where we have to go, anytime and anywhere. So you see, this kind of approach of a totally connected world is something which can address the challenges we have today in engineering. But what are these challenges? I've just picked some of these, but I think you for sure know that there are many, many more. However, here you will see right now the most important three uh, challenges we are facing during engineering. For instance, the manual handover of information. What is meant like with this is the handover from one application to the other. I think everybody knows during engineering we are using multiple engineering uh, software to do our daily work. All this handover results in errors, can result in errors, because we have to convert information. The second point is, of course, keeping all these different systems up to date and synchronized with each other. This is a major task we face every time during engineering and which we from ePlan want to address uh, with the ePlan data portal. Last but not least, of course, we are all faced by challenges being faster on the market and reducing the time to market during engineering, procurement and construction. So an integrated idea of engineering directly from the start to the very, very end can be one of the most important topics to ensure high, highly efficient engineering and better quality. Just imagine how you do it in your daily life at the moment. Now coming back and just having a look at the way how the smartphone has changed our life, just take this information and take this approach and put it into engineering environment. The ePlan data portal is a fully web-based application which can be accessed from anywhere to give you the possibility to browse, search and find all kinds of electronic devices to be used during your engineering. It's not about only the ePlan platform itself. You can use it from anywhere. If you're in the car, if you're on the flight, or in a meeting with an end customer. Decisions can be made right away, anywhere where you are. Use your smartphone 
or even a web page. And this kind of approach brings us much closer to really efficient engineering and directly aims at the goal of being prepared for Industry 4.0 and the Internet of Things. Now having a little bit a deeper look into that, how does this work? In generally, you can say that it is a completely um, web-based solution which gives you the access from everywhere, as I said. This kind of information is somehow pre-stored to be reused in the ePlan platform. So within the ePlan platform, the data portal is directly integrated, such as in a browser window, and enables you fully access to your data portal account. This access to an account is, of course, then seamlessly integrated in the ePlan platform. In return, this means you can get to your devices, place them via drag and drop directly from the data portal on your schematic. Once you have placed it, you have it, of course, in your central parts database, ready to use any time later on. But it does not stop there, because also synchronization is one of the key facts to stay competitive in today's world. Also, this is managed through the web-based application um, and the web-based nature of the data portal. So the synchronization of parts anywhere integrated in the ePlan platform gives you the freedom to choose what to choose, when to choose, and how. To give you a more detailed view on the data portal, I've pointed out some key facts which might be interested in terms of engineering as well. Today's world is highly globalized. It means we are working with teams from across the world together in several different languages, and of course, we have to address these. Colleagues from around the world want to have access to the respective data at any time. Best case, in their mother tongue. Why? Because engineering, of course, in the mother tongue is much easier, much faster than in a foreign language, which uh, you might struggle a little bit with specific terms. Because of that, the data portal supports up to 17 different languages for all these products which are available in the data portal. It gives you a vast variety of 122 different suppliers and over 1.2 different, uh, 1.2 million different variances of components, and 580,000 uh, physical ava physically available components. So you see, this kind of approach brings us to the next level of engineering because it gives, you be all, gives us also the possibility to synchronize all of our parts and have them downloaded at any time. So the approach is holistic engineering around the world. As shown in the previous two presentations, we have seen already how uh, uh, differentiated all the different manufacturers are available on the data portal. You see manufacturers from all kinds of industries supporting all your daily businesses and engineering disciplines. Whether you're coming from pneumatics background, electrical, panel engineering, or even the process industry, you will find your respective parts on the data portal. And if not, we are working closely with all manufacturers which are requested by our user base and also are happy to help everybody to get these parts in the data portal so that you can succeed during your engineering. So the international approach of the data portal is essential for the way of working in today's world. And we are trying to address this and we address this. So what kind of information does the data portal in general provide? Having a look at the left side of the, of the slide, you see that the data portal and the components in the data portal compromise all relevant information you need of an electronic data catalog um, available. It means from commercial information such as describing text up to ordering numbers, you can find everything which is required for engineering, whether it's a logic schematic or even a 3D representation but also the links to data sheets and detailed technical specifications can be found here. This information can be downloaded per part just on a button click because they are compromised in a container which we call the EDZ format, 
which is compromising all the information required to describe this specific part. And all this information will be available for you in the central parts management of ePlan, just with a click on a button. So this is a kind of approach which is unique in the market. You get a fully integrated solution, a web-based solution integrated in a software platform or software package. Because all the information you use can be used through the entire portfolio of the ePlan software. Whether you use, you use P8 or ProPanel, it doesn't matter. The data portal provides you all necessary information required. But it does not stop there. Because also, it's about the interaction between manufacturer who's providing the data as well as the user who's using the data. Because we can get better when we give feedback, when we interact with each other. It's pretty cumbersome to have a printed catalog in front of you, pick the respective parts, and how to give feedback if something is missing or you have a question. The data portal gives the possibility to directly feedback on certain parts, which are then provided to the respective manufacturer. And even a missing manufacturer will be addressed directly to be part of the data portal the next time. So it gives you also a transparent way of the usage of the products in the data portal to be much closer to the user and to be also much faster. Faster time to the market with the products as well as with the engineering. So bringing and bridging the gaps here. So it's about customer intimacy. And we all want to um, have successful customers which we address with the data portal. So in a nutshell, if we conclude a little bit further. So from manufacturer perspective, the data portal gives you a very innovative and digital platform for standardized product data. It gives you the possibility to be as close as possible to the users who are using your parts, who are engineering with these parts. And of course, in return, it gives you the required customer intimacy to get all the feedback directly from the market so that you can react on the demands the, the market has. So it's some kind of a possibility to have measurable product success. In return, of course, promotion of your products in a way to sell more of these and also be more visible to the market. But also from the engineers, we see a lot of benefits using the data portal. Foremost, of course, it's the time savings. Just imagine you have to draft every of your schematics manually before you can use it in your schematics. This kind of time saving is completely eliminated with the ePlan data portal, because just with a click on a button, you have it at your fingertips. Also considering the quality aspect, I think it is worth to mention that especially parts which are standardized and ready to use are minimizing the errors and increasing the quality tremendously during engineering. Last but not least, and this is something we, how it is compromised, the full integration of the web-based application into the ePlan platform. This is something what we call next level for engineering with the ePlan data portal. It compromises everything what we know and what we need to be ready for the next industrial revolution. Finally, as a general overview, we see that the data portal is the central platform for all your engineering data in a digital format, accessible anywhere, anytime. And of course, the synchronization is very important when you use the data portal. Just to give you an idea, you have downloaded a part from the data portal, which is updated by a manufacturer later on. As mentioned, this part is available in your central parts database. However, there's an update online available. So even this is managed through the data portal because it gives you the possibility to just click on a button and update this respective part in your parts database. So you see, even keeping up to date and being on the latest status is very easy with the data portal. Not mentioning, of course, the, the possibilities of faster engineering dragging, dropping respective parts to the schematics and just connecting them on the ePlan platform, or P8. 
And of course, the approach, I think this is something everybody is used to, but hasn't found its way to the industry. Too detailed yet is the way of having web-based applications used during engineering. This gives us the possibility to work very internationally and to bring gaps uh, and to close gaps further and to really uh, enable globalized engineering. The next industri industrial revolution with ePlan. So with this, I would like to, to thank you so far for the, for the time you spent with me. And right now, I would like to answer the first questions here. And I would be happy if you shoot as much questions as you might have. And also, please don't forget to give your feedback on the, uh, on the presentation, on the overall fair, and get, uh, get ready to win an iPad while um, submitting your feedback here. So I would like to answer now the first questions which uh, just occurred. So one question was, do you respect the user's privacy in the data portal? It's a very important question, I think, because this kind of discussions are very frequent, especially in Europe. And of course we do that. With the data portal and all information we provide, we respect the uh, respective guidelines and laws of Germany and the European Union. So you can rest assured everything what is used in the data portal is as per the regulations we have. Second question would be is how do you ensure the quality of the manufactured data? Also, very good question, very often answered. We ensure the quality of the data with our internal quality assurance team where every data which is provided on the data portal is going through. This means a manufacturer providing data is feedbacked based on the findings of the QA team, the quality assurance team, to reiterate the failures or the findings within the parts itself. So you see that we are taking care of the way how we provide the data and which, in which quality. However, it is still essential that you as the user use the feedback on parts which are missing where you need more information or even detailed information. It's somehow a collaborating platform and a collaborating platform lives from the interactions from both sides. Thank you for that question. So last question is, I see maybe um, we have it now. Let's see, yeah, thank you very much. So the prompter was a little bit too fast for me. Uh, how does an update of already downloaded parts work? I already touched base it very, very um, shortly. It means a part which have been downloaded from the data portal already um, has a so-called identifier in the parts database. It gives us the possibility to see that the part is newly available on the data portal, which can be then synchronized automatically based on a button click. Of course, not all information you have in the parts database will be updated. You specify as the user which information should be updated and when. So you have full control of your central parts database. We just offer you the opportunity to keep the information up to date and synchronized at any time. With this, I would like to close the first QA session. Please feel free to contact me or the colleagues in the chat. And I would like to thank you very much for your time and hope you enjoy the rest of the fair. Thank you very much.